What is up guys, Taurus Fishing here. In today's video, we are going to be make, talking about a little... Hey dude, go to bed. <laughs> go to bed, come on. Okay, whatever. Wait. Okay. <laughs> I got that over with, but um... Anyways, in today's video, we're going to be talking about a little modification I've done to this kayak and it's not much cuz like it's a simple little kayak but like um anyways what the heck just happened there okay anyways this is this is the modification I made and if you're wondering what the heck is that um I'll, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about it in just a second but before you do I just want to say Okay, he's out again. <laughs> Let me deal with him again. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, guys. <laughs> but anyway, I want to talk a little bit about this kayak. Um, I got this kayak around like probably like three or four years ago. It's, it's a pretty small kayak. It's six foot kayak, I think. And I, to be honest, I barely fit it. Like my feet can almost reach. All the way to the end, but usually whenever I use it, I just sit like this. But um, like um, this this is actually the only kayak I've ever had. But like, this is this thing just means a lot to me because like, I don't know, it's just, I just like the kayak. Like look, I put a few um decals on it, like like these um. Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation um stickers and I have that one and I have this fish sign and I don't know if you can see it sailfish uh, give give it some lighting there we go and then the random bands decal but um anyways back to what this video is about Okay, <laughs> back to what this video is about, is about this thing right here, so um, this, believe it or not, is actually a homemade um, rod holder, now see, I have, I have a few rods right here, with me. this one right here is my ultralight setup, I use uh, micro light, it's ultralight and stuff, and then I have this Pen rod right here with um I don't know <laughs> big spinning wheel um zip tied to it. But um I have these set on low drag setting and the he's out again. <sighs> these kids are making me so frustrated. My little brothers so just so um just so I don't know how to explain it, but, um, anyways, <laughs> back to the video, um, so, um, anyways, this right here is, um, a homemade rod holder that I made, like, earlier today, it's made from, like, um, this right here is, like, um, one of those, um, things to hold, like, a flashlight to put on your bike, and then, this is actually a GoPro mount for, um, a bike, for, bike mount for a GoPro mount, whatever. This, this right here, I don't know if, you can, it's hard to see, let me see if like the other side will be better, uh, not any much, not really better, but down here there's like um, one of those chest mount um, mounts for the GoPro, and down here is um, another mount for GoPro, one of those that have like the little, um, how do you say, the um, I don't know, it just has this sticky stuff on the bottom. I just sticked it on there. But, um, we're going to be testing it. See how good it works. Hopefully it works good. So, this can, this can actually ro hold both of these rods right here at the same time. I'll show you how. There's actually a little hole on the bottom right there. That's where I put 
this rod in like this. I'm gonna put it over here like that. And of course, the micro light setup. <laughs> Not micro light, ultra light setup in, in the top one right here. And it fits perfectly. Look at that. I'm trying to have it focus. Alright, so. Look at that. Not a bad look on the kayak. So let's see if, um, how, if it will, how comfortable it is with it on the kayak. So. Okay, so it's right here, so that's good. The um, water line is around, like, right here, so this reel right here might get a bit wet, so I'm going to probably put the reels on this side, on this side, so they don't get wet and get damaged by the salt water. And then, um, next we're going to test, see what happens if, when a fish would strike now. Whenever um, I'm out, like let's say, out in um, clear water and like the beaches and stuff or something like that, or like out in the flats, I'm going to have the drag low so it doesn't pull, pull this off because I know that the this will not hold up to like, let's say, a five pound jack or five pound redfish or something like that like a 20 inch redfish or whatever but um I know that I'm not gonna catch <laughs> like, probably not gonna catch fish like that with these setups but like anyways um let's let's put the let's put the lines okay so I have the I have the camera set up on the table So finally we got it set up. Here you go, let's see. Let's test it. So we have the reel set on low drag. First we're gonna try the micro rod. So let's say this is um probably gonna use these for like trolling behind the kayak or something. Trolling like a little bait or something like that. Or maybe storing out live or cut bait. But here we go, let's try it out. So let's let's try um live bait. So let's say I'm getting bit. Finally gets hooked. Okay, not bad. Now let's try this one. Let's see how it would do for live bait. So
Okay, not bad. See, look, it, it works. I mean, it's not the best thing in the strongest um, titanium, whatever, um, rod holder in the world. But it still works. So, like, basically what I'm saying, you could literally make anything with, like, <laughs> like a bottle or something. I don't know. But, um, now let's try trolling. Let's say there's a bait behind the uh, kayak, and then takes it. Okay. Now, this one. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same thing. Yeah. Alright, well. That was, it did pretty good, actually. See. Wow. Still pretty sturdy. Man. Man. Can't believe this little project actually turned out to be very successful. Like. I'm impressed. Like, man, that's pretty cool. But, um, yeah. I think I should probably pick all this up and put it back in my room before, before um, my parents find out. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot one more thing before. Dude. Ugh. Uh, if I have a bite, I, I would, it would be pretty, um, how would I say, I would have an advantage, because then I could just, instead of having to put them in these holes, which I have in the past, and it's worked fine, to be honest, but, um, I think it would be better to, um, have them in this, because then, I would have easier access of the rods. Like, for example, a fish bites. Just grab this right here. Oh, it's really complicated to get. And then, you know, hook set. Oh, no. <laughs> Gigantic hook set and stuff. And boom, catch fit 10 pound jack or something like that. But yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please, um, please like and subscribe for more videos to come. And tight lines. I almost forgot. Um, also, if you want, if you want me to do some more um, um, projects like this, or like um, I don't know, DIY videos in the future, please let me know in the comments below. But yeah. That'll be it for today. Alright. See ya.